High above us, orbiting beyond the beautiful blue veil of Earth's sky, lingers forgotten relics of past space exploration. This hardened, Soviet-built descent craft is called Cosmos 482, and in 1972, it began an attempted journey to Venus. However, due to a failed rocket burn, it never made it. It became trapped in Earth's orbit, silently tumbling around our planet. 53 years later, and the descent craft, designed for one purpose and one purpose only, to survive a hellish fall through the thick, toxic clouds of Venus, is no longer forgotten. In the next week or so, it is expected to re-enter the atmosphere and fall back to Earth after more than five decades in space. But why did it take so long to come crashing back? Will it survive the re-entry after all these years? And if it does, where and when will it hit? You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy diving into the wonders of space, don't forget to subscribe for much more to come. The year is 1972. The Soviet Union is pouring resources into an ambitious series of missions to explore Venus, Earth's hellish twin, where the atmosphere crushes like an ocean and temperatures melt lead. Cosmos 482, a sister to the successful Venera 8 probe, was designed to parachute through Venus's dense clouds land on its surface and transmit data that had never been seen before. But this was a probe that would never probe. During the launch, the Soyuz rocket carrying Cosmos 482 failed to fire its final stage. Instead of heading to Venus, the probe fell into an Earth orbit, stranded, silent and out of reach. The spacecraft broke into four parts, Two quickly decayed and fell back to Earth, landing near Ashburton, New Zealand. Locals reported four glowing titanium spheres crashing into farmland, leaving scorched craters, but luckily causing no injuries. The remaining pieces, including the descent craft, entered a higher orbit. The 495 kg titanium sphere, built to survive the crushing, hellish atmosphere of Venus, is expected to come crashing back to Earth very soon. This probe wasn't just tough, it was overbuilt. Soviet engineers made it virtually indestructible, capable of withstanding 300 Gs of force, 100 atmospheres of pressure and extreme temperatures. That over-engineering, once meant to ensure a soft landing on a hellish Venus, means that it's highly probable that it will reach the surface of Earth. For over half a century, Cosmos 482 has orbited our planet like a ghost, forgotten by the world beneath, and now it's coming home. Its orbit has decayed, pulled gradually closer to Earth by the faint drag of our upper atmosphere. Experts believe it will hit sometime between May 8th and May 12th. Its impact zone? Anywhere between 52 degrees north and 52 degrees south latitude. Which means anywhere in this orange zone on this map. About half of Earth's population lives in that zone. But there is no need to panic. The chances of Cosmos 482 causing deadly damage is extremely unlikely. With 71% of our planet covered by oceans, Cosmos 482 will most likely vanish beneath the waves, once again to be forgotten. The story of Cosmos 482 is bigger than where it lands, however. It's a reminder of the space debris problem. There are over one million pieces of space debris larger than a centimeter now orbiting Earth. Many thousands of them are the size of Cosmos 482 or larger, and on average, two uncontrolled re-entries happen every single day. The skies above us are becoming cluttered, and the forgotten ghosts of past missions still linger. Up there, millions of fragments from dead satellites, defunct rocket stages, and even tools lost during spacewalks tumble around our planet. At orbital speeds, 
Even a single bolt can hit with the force of an artillery shell. But the real danger is something called the Kessler Syndrome. A scenario where one collision creates a spray of debris, which triggers more collisions in a chain reaction that could make parts of Earth's orbit completely unusable. Imagine trying to launch a satellite through a minefield. That's a huge problem. And with thousands of objects being launched each year, it's not just science fiction anymore. Every object we send up needs to come down safely, or we risk clogging the very highway we depend on to explore space. Cosmos 482 was built to land on another planet, but instead it spent half a century circling this one. It's a reminder that every launch leaves a trace. Every mistake can linger for decades when it comes to space exploration. So over the next couple of days, if you live within the orange zone, look up every now and then. The cosmos could come crashing down above your head. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to like and subscribe for much more to come. And if you would like to support my channel even further, then why not buy me a coffee? A small donation goes a long way and helps me improve what I am attempting to build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.